Hello world, welcome to Ease Photoshop. Today, we are going to cover the preferences of Photoshop 7. You may download it from the link in the description. Open Photoshop, go to Edit Preference, General or press Ctrl K in Windows and Command K in Mac. So we are at General, select Color Picker, I prefer Adobe, set Redo key according to your convince. History states as I have CS6, so I am keeping everything low, you may set it 50. If you don't know about history, check my future tutorials options. I prefer to check every box. You may want to uncheck second last. Use shift key for tool switch. It is used to select different types of tools grouped with its shortcuts followed by shift key like you may select four different types of text tool by pressing shift plus shortcut key in this case T. To go to next either press Ctrl plus number in Windows and Command plus number in Mac, or select from drop down list. There is another way, press next to try it. In the file handling, I like to always save the image previews and la file extension. Display cursor is very important. There are three types of painting cursors. Standard is the icon of the tool you are using. Precise is a plus, and brush size shows the size of the brush. In other cursors, standard is icon, but precise is a dot and circle. You may change the grid size and colors. Basically, if you see the grid, it means there is a transparency in all the layers where you can see the grid. In units and rulers you decide the units of rulers, print resolution, then let's move on to guides grid and slices, set the color and style of guides, grid color style etc. Plugin and scratch disk, enter some additional plugin and scratch disk if wanted. Memory and video cache, edit cache settings, and RAM allowed by Photoshop, I have a higher version of Photoshop, also that is CS6. So I lowered it but I will recommend making it around 70 to 80%.